Good morning and welcome back with another episode of Homesteading with the Lawsons. Today we're going to show what to do with those super nutritious vegetable and fruit powders that we have been uh, freeze drying. We know not everybody has a freeze dryer. You can also dehydrate. The difference is dehydrating is short term and freeze drying lasts up to 20 to 25 years. Also with freeze drying you save almost all of the nutrients rather than Oh, 80 percent or less now you can buy freeze dried food for over two dollars an ounce well that's our reason for owning a freeze dryer now on to what we do with all of those delicious nutritious powders we've made you know everybody is different about what they do for breakfast and all that well, you've seen us make this freeze dried powder uh, we do spinach and different things. Well, I've got a combination of some freeze dried powder here today, and we're gonna reconstitute it and drink it as a smoothie. And this is just an example of what you can do. You can make pills out of it and, and do different things, but we're gonna try to smash it up and make some powders out of it. And I put a little bit of cream, uh, I mean, uh, I'm sorry, raspberry in here. I'm going to put a little bit of spinach. It's hard to get these lids off sometimes. That came off pretty easy. I've got about a teaspoon of each in here. the lid back on it and we are going to um, re-vacuum seal. Now this is beet powder. Hay powder is just crushed up it's, and it's not completely crushed up. It needs to be a little finer. I should probably put this all in the blender and let it blend up a little bit better. But it will it will reconstitute, you know, once it's in water and I just don't want it to be chunks. I want it to be powder. Okay, we got this one is cranberry. So it's a pretty good mix of flavors. Now this is not powder. This is it's like a piece of styrofoam. This is what it was before, and all we're doing is just crumbling it into this glass, just like it we would if it were powder, you know, pouring it in. And there'd be some chunks in here, but that's not too much. Shouldn't be too much. And we'll do two of them. That'll be a good mix. I think this will be a pretty good breakfast. I know. I could do a lot worse. <laughs> Oop, dropped a little bit right there. Okay, put this lid back. We'll vacuum seal them again here in just a minute. Basically, there's no magic to reconstituting. Just put the desired amount of water in and stir it. I normally go two, two minutes. Okay. Good enough for me. Bottoms up. <sighs> All right. 
looks like a little bit still in the glass. I want to get it off. Because it's so good. It's very good flavor. taste a little bit of the beet. I really don't taste the spinach and I'm kind of surprised. That's basically it. I can seal these containers. We have two different sides of the lids. Okay. I'll put that on snug but not overboard. any flavor that you want and I've got strawberry and, and orange and lemon and all kinds of different the spinach and some of this other stuff that's so high in the nutrients uh, you just can't do better than that. Uh, okay. okay and here some of the flavors, the spinach. I've got tomatoes in the back back there. I got the raspberry, we used that this morning. Uh, uh, more spinach powder, bell peppers, and uh, squash, bananas, more bananas, beets, blueberries. Uh, just all kinds of stuff back there. Purple whole peas, lemons, so the spinach, oranges, more beet powder. There's the old strawberry, and onion, and we also have uh, fruit, a mix of fruit, and we've got uh, cucumbers and zucchini and okay those, those are cookies celery and all of the other fun stuff cranberry that was good stuff italian seasoned hot peppers these are the hottest of hot jalapenos but they got something that makes them really hot then we got the different cucumber chips with the different powders and you know sweet potatoes and more cucumbers and here are some oranges in the back we've got some more cranberry and some more uh, cucumbers and some egg powder and we just got quite a collection going so we've got lots of choosers uh, lots of flavors to choose from but that's pretty much it well, thanks for following along. You can help us by sharing, liking, or subscribing. And as always, God bless.